Here's everything I used today. Are you happy? It's organized chaos. I know where everything is. Come on. been sitting here ever since I got back from my run with Finley. I'm gonna go get ready and we're gonna go, meaning you and I, I'm taking the camera, bringing you along with me to go thrifting and run my errands with me. And then I'll come back and finish editing. And yeah, that's, uh, that's my Friday. So let's get to it. Here's everything I used today to get ready. Blush by Ilya. I use this YSL um, eyeshadow. Um, this is my favorite little palette right now. So way in my hair. I didn't style my hair today, but I just like to run that through. Um, my sister-in-law actually told me about this the NYX Lift and Snatch Eyebrow Marker, and I love it. And the Merit Highlighter, Ilia Mascara. And I'm just wearing these sunglasses that I got from Amazon. And just being comfy today. I'm just, I'm taking myself out to lunch. I'm gonna go to the thrift store and I just wanna be like comfortable. I'm gonna get charms to put on this bag. And then I'm gonna tie little bows where it's kind of messed up right there. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing today. stock the drink fridge with me that's the drink fridge um yeah let's just stock it it's looking a little empty this is the shirt i was wearing today i think it's so cute it's from this brand called the orange state and it's like a taylor swift fan t-shirt if you're a taylor swift fan you know um okay i got polar Orange Vanilla Seltzer. This is one of my favorites. And the quickest way to stock the drink fridge is to just open this end, set it in here, open the other end, push it right on out of the box. And then I got Coconut LaCroix. I got Black Cherry Polar. Okay, look at that. And then I have this little drink Gia. Drink Gia. Somebody tell me if I'm saying that right. And I also got the ginger version. I'm excited to try all of those. Really cute packaging. It just brings me so much joy, you know? Okay. Cute. This is such a cute can too. I tried to get on their PR list. Like I sent them a little message and I never heard back. So maybe in the future they will send me some PR because that would be really cool to be on their PR list. I don't drink um, often unless we like go out or like socially. How cute is that can? That's so cute. But yeah, so we kind of gave it up, um, except for like socially or on vacation or whatever. Now the drink fridge is fully stocked. <laughs> Hi, 
hello good morning it's 9 30 so it's still morning i am just gonna make a thumbnail and my videos get oh my battery's dead that is what i remember happening last let me see if i can find a battery then we will kick off the vlog today i am going to make a thumbnail so for my thumbnails, I usually just decide if I'm going to divide my page into quarters or thirds. Um, and then I just grab screenshots from my video and place them kind of loosely how I want to. And I bring them into Photoshop to color correct and play around with the tones. I really like a warmer tone photo. So, um, and I do like them to be a little bit washed out. And you can see I'm kind of adjusting the clouds here to be pink. Um, and then I just bring them in here and back into Illustrator, lay them out how I want them to look, mask them in the little template I made. Then I just sort of adjust them to make sure like they're in the template how I want them to look. And I like to add a little bit of a grain to my photo. So I do that, play around with fonts. I'm not following any sort of brand guidelines. So I just like to have fun with it. And then I can't help but kern these letters a little bit because the spacing is off. And then I just bring the photos back into Photoshop and intensify some of the saturation. I like a little bit more of a warm tone photo, so I just add more yellow to my cyan and blues. Then back in Illustrator, once those are updated, I add a little overlay to create a barrier between my photos and my white type, just so that the white type pops a little bit more. And then I just add some extra text, like the date or maybe what the photo is of, and just to give a little bit more context to what the video might be about. Let me know if anybody wants a more in-depth tutorial about this, but um, also if you didn't care, sorry that I wasted your time. And also, I'm running to Home Depot. Um, I have like a whole idea for my closet project that I want to do. I want to put, I want like a piece of wood that goes all the way across. This is my old MacBook. That's not a MacBook. That's an iMac. That's my old iMac. And it's just like the software is really out of date and it won't update to the most recent software. It's one of my favorite sweatshirts from Claire V. And I think it's so cute. They had so. It is killing me trying to not buy leopard print pants and I'm seeing them everywhere. I'm seeing like leopard print cargo pants and they're so cute, but I know that it is such a fleeting trend and I already have a leopard print skirt that was trendy in 2017 when I bought it and I saved it and I have that and I've worn it and I don't need a pair of leopard print pants, but I did pick up this leopard print ribbon for $2.99 and it was 40% off so it wasn't even $2.99 and we are going to put it in my Sambas because they need a little refresh and I want to participate in this leopard print trend. I also love the bow trend. I love all of it so we're going to put these in my Sambas. I've seen a lot of people put like lace ribbon in their sneakers lately. Um, and so I'm just gonna do that with this. We're gonna use the shoelace as a measuring tape. We're gonna go a little bit longer because I kinda want a big bow. This is a grain ribbon, um, which I think will be a little bit more durable for shoelaces we'll see um okay so as far as threading it through the end i thought maybe if i like taped it but this could be kind of a bitch through there. rolling the tape around the edge so i'm hoping that i can get like a good enough like a i guess a rigid enough like piece to get through the
cute. I am such a DIY girly at heart. Like, I love DIY. It makes me feel good. It's fun. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go run my errands. Home Depot. I'm going Home Depot. Jordan's on standby. I have my car snacks. Grabbed a Coke and a couple of snacks because I'm hungry, but I don't want to eat lunch because I gotta go, go, go. I'm looking for a, like a shelf situation for my closet so that I can kind of lay out my printer, that old Mac that I have, I just want a spot for it to like shove it in the back where it's like out of the way, but it's always in my way. So I think by creating a shelf that goes all the way across from the left to the right will help that get sorted. just got done filming a cute little filming my day two series for this Tuesday little DIY and also like a little charm necklace and it's really cute right now I'm just gonna take Finley to the park because we need to get outside easy sit okay okay forward back foot Good boy. Girl. Let's go. Are you happy? Finn and I just got back from our walk. I want to go outside. I want to do a house tidy, just like a Sunday evening house pickup look at how much just from the other day when i showed the peonies to now let me turn you around like there's like tw three times as many and they're like twice the height that they were okay i'm gonna just do a little house just a little house tidy up and it's really good so
welcome back it is monday morning i'm just finishing up this little project i've been working on over the weekend so yeah monday morning therapy done i didn't cry in therapy today so yay um look at what i've done with my closet so i went to home depot and i got this like board to go across here it's organized chaos. I know where everything is and that's all that matters. So that's great. Um, I'm going to get into junk journaling. So I have a whole section in here. This is okay. So if you don't know this about me, you're about to know. I used to work in a scrapbooking company. That was my first job out of college. I designed uh, paper patterns and stickers and like stamps and stuff, really cool things for them. And I still have just like paper from that job that I either purchased from the warehouse or I got for free in like when they would do cleanouts and stuff. I have paper, I have stickers. I also have purchased since then stickers. I have this whole drawer. So I also need to clean out my desk drawer. Um, this drawer is stickers and stamp pads the company was american crafts um so i have all these pigment inks from them and this was in 2012 um but they still work which is crazy and i have all of these stamps and this really cool massive stamp pad that you can like change what it says um so that's that and then i also have a box of actually here's what I was planning to do I thought it might be fun when I do my office tour to do a like what's in like a what's in the box um I don't know if that's weird or if it would be fun I thought we could do like a what's in that box so like box one two three four five six seven eight nine is there another one down there? 10. I have 10 boxes on this shelf and we could do like unboxings of what's in them all. If anyone is curious, I thought it would be fun to do a little video of just unboxing. Some of them are full of just like junk and some of them I think have some pretty cool things. I honestly, I fully can't remember everything that's in all of them. They've just been sitting here. So I thought we could clean out the boxes together. I also have one, two, three, four, five boxes up here that also need to be cleaned out. I'm trying to get organized for like my new little junk journal project that I want to do. So I thought I could categorize things kind of like sort it out into yes, I would use it or like even just throw some stuff away. So that's an idea that I have in my head right now. Um, I am just going to kind of do some stuff on the computer and just keep going on my list of stuff that I want to get done. Okay. We're going to Home Depot. I didn't vlog all day because I was doing other stuff for a different video and I had a headache all day. We just got to Home Depot. We're going to go look through the garden center. I'm not also going to put that on. Come on. Oh, smart. I want a cherry tree, like, with these little pink blossoms. I thought mums were frillier. I really like... Yeah. I do want to go... Yes. Wait, you're blurry. Now do it. 
start. <laughs> it's a weeping cherry tree. Yeah. 